Hello everyone. So for today I figured we could work on remaking some of these vintage pieces. This is from a box actually and I really like it. I don't want to destroy it obviously. I want it salvaged so I thought it was really pretty. Why not use this and make it into a tag. God, had to cut that down. It was driving me nuts. But I have that and then I have these vintage like button things. So I thought, ooh, this would be fun to have a play with. So we'll do that too. So I was looking at my Tim Holtz people and I saw this lovely little girl and I thought, ooh, this little girl would look really pretty in on this little tag. Doesn't she? She just looks so cute on it. So I'm going to quickly glue her on. And we'll go on with what we're doing. But these are definite vintage pieces. I just thought they would just look gorgeous. And I thought she, again, just looks so pretty on that, don't she? So we got that going. Now I just want to see if there's anything we could I don't really like this, so yeah, that ain't gonna look cute or pretty or anything for this little girl but this piece of lace would definitely look pretty on here I am not gonna corner punch the tag at all here I just don't believe she needs to be corner punched so or have the corners cut like a tag I want to keep it the way it is so this one's really really basic which is fine all right now we have these ones this, I have a string that's kind of like stuck in here there we go and I have a bag full of buttons. All kinds of buttons. This sets and the others. So let's see if we can find four vintage looking buttons that are small. That would be kind of cute to put on there. They're kind of not the same looking so yeah I think I'm gonna do random buttons I think that looks better than having all the same buttons on it four random vintage buttons on it and let's use this. I'm going to glue this cardboard onto a piece of paper just because I think it does need backing. It is 
vintage so we kind of want to be extra careful with it Like that. And then I'm going to use my Fabri Tac to glue on the buttons. Again, I just feel like adding these buttons is just going to give it an added look. Ain't that cute? Again, I just, sometimes you gotta go with the original look to make it look, again, I, I like this as it was without the buttons. I just added the buttons to give it a little bit more flair. Now this one's five buttons. And again, I'm just trying to go with some random looking clean cut buttons. For this. Now. Let's see here. I'll grab a different paper. This paper was ripped when I went to use it, so I chose to use it as backing paper. But again, I feel like this is so beautiful. I didn't really want to change these ones too much. I'm excited for our vacations coming up and this weekend is my cousin's wedding and I get to spend some quality time with my stepmom a little bit this weekend which will be nice we haven't done that in a while we get busy with our own stuff and then we forget hey we should spend more time together
I'm just going to see if I can hole punch this. Keep that hole punch. And then we'll glue these on. Coming camping trips and again just fun things I'm trying to keep my kids weekend or weeks very busy I'm trying to keep it minimal downtime so hence why I've been making kind of video after video you know, when we do have our downtime as much as I can. <coughs> Just to keep things rolling in the right direction. Well, I guess I'm doing it this way. Sometimes not knowing what I'm doing and then doing it doesn't work. There we go. So another cute little tag here. Now this one, I don't think I'm going to have it, the original way of it. I'm just thinking, if I could cover it with some fabric here, or not fabric, napkin. Yeah, I'm going to do that, just cover it with napkin. I'm going to take some glue here and just glue the whole thing. This one, it looks cool, but it doesn't at the same time. So, again, I'm just going to do a nice covering of it with napkin. There we go. And this was from our paper nap or paper bag idea type thing from a while ago. Last earlier this past week I wanna say. I 
have a better idea to how to get that off without wrecking the paper necessarily too badly. Uh. All right. So some of you may have a sanding block. I do not have a sanding block, but this does take some of that napkin off without necessarily wrecking too much of the piece. So sometimes you got to work with what you have. Again, not everybody has a sanding block. I just have sandpaper and I'm just taking it and rubbing it softly against here. And I'm trying to do it away from it, is what I'm trying to do. Because I have learned by scraping away, it does come off way nicer. So, there we go. Again, uh, I just thought giving it a different look would definitely add some charm to this piece. Now, where is my bobber? That is strange. Like, normally I know where my distress stopper is, but I'm not seeing it in my area where I keep it. I'm seeing other ones, but not the one that I normally use. So, I'm pulling off my piece. Oh my goodness. off my pink distress ink. This happens sometimes. I just take a little bit of my glues and glue it back down. Because I'm not going to buy a new one when it's been stapled in and everything else. It's just that way because it's that way. I have another one right here. So I guess I didn't really need to do that. My scrapbooking bookers.com one that I got for free. All right. And I am just swiping it lightly across here just to vintage it up just a little bit more. And there we go. <coughs> Thank goodness I had a spare, right? All right. Again, I'm just grabbing some that may be a little bit more random. Here, but I don't 
like that one and I don't like that one, so we'll pull them out. Ooh, that one's pretty. That definitely go with the overall theme. Mm, that one's kind of grungy looking too. Okay, let's move this. Uh, I want that there. Move that one here. This one here. Get the gooper off it. So this is the vintage packaging. I've been kind of putting in my, or had my to-do box for a while now and instead of doing something I kept on moving it for a while now. This isn't something that it's been sitting in there for years. I've been trying to use the stuff in my to-do box that weren't necessarily mass makes were just sitting there for me to do I've been trying to use it or lose it now if I can't come up with a way of using it I've been losing it I've been throwing it away or whatever just because I can only keep so much of my stuff so there we go our third one is done so we have this one this one where is that last one? oh right here and this one that we did and then the one I really wanted to get done because again this was sitting with these in that to-do box and I didn't it's been kind of like an odd thing out I wanted to get it done too and since I'm going for a Beauty and the Beast themed journal I figure some of these will actually go with the theme so these two not so much but they'll be ready to go for future projects so I am happy enjoy the rest of your day or night bye